Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn in Videos. So previously we had seen two videos on Mathematics Lab. So this is the third one. So if you want to check the previous two, you can go and check in my playlist. So in today's video, we are going to see find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent, angle between the two curves. So now the angle between the uh, so now the angle between the radius vector and the tangent of the curve. So they have given an equation that is r equal to a into 1 plus cos t. Okay, and they have specified that t value is pi by 3. Okay, they have specified t value as pi by 3. So now we are going to import the package simphy. Okay, import from simphy we are importing star. That means all the modules will be imported in our program. So now we are defining a and t as symbol. So in the previous video I have said about the symbols. So a and t we are importing it as symbols. So a and t will be considered as symbols for our mathematical expression in our code. So now I'm defining a variable r and I'm uh, passing it uh, like and I'm giving the equation that they have given to me. That is my question. a star into 1 plus cos t. I'm keeping that in a r variable. Okay. So next I'm differentiating this r with respect to t over here. You can see diff is a method that will differentiate for me. So it, it is, we are differentiating the R. So what is R here? The expression that is one plus cos T and a, sorry, A into one plus cos T and I'm differentiating with respect to T. Okay. After differentiating in R, that is my main equation. I'm substituting R. I'm calling a function called as R dot substitute. So this will substitute the value of T with pi by three. You can see here, I'm passing two variables that is T and pi by three. So I'm substituting t with pi by 3 in this equation r. So if you want, we can do an exercise. So I'll comment, I'm removing this comment and I'll comment on the previous sections. So we'll see what will be the value of it. Okay. So now you can see over here. You can see over here in the first equation what I'm doing. I'm doing a into 1 plus cos of pi by 3. So instead of t, I'm replacing it with pi by 3. And whereas in this r is equals to r dot substitute, I'm doing I am substituting t with pi by 3. Both are one and the same. So I'm printing that the printing my equation with pi by 3 and printing my variable r. Let us find whether both are getting the same answer or not. Yes, we are getting same for the both one. So that means we are replacing pi with, sorry, we are replacing t with pi by 3. I'll recommend this. We shall proceed now. Okay. So now after that, I have substituted t with pi by 3. Next, what I'm doing, I'm differentiating uh, the differentiated value that is stored in drtt. So I had differentiated it once. So that is stored in dr dt. So now this differentiation dr by uh, dt. So I'm substituting this with same t is equals to pi by 3. So I'm substituting the value pi by 3 which is given to me in the question. The t value is pi by 3. So in this also I'm substituting and I'm storing that value in dr dt. So next I'm taking a, I'm calling it a variable phi. Next a into okay, a into tan of so this is the equation to find tan of r. So r, what is r? My equation with the value pi by 3 divided by dr by dt. dr by dt contains the value pi by 3. Okay, the uh, differentiative value and substituting with pi by 3. Okay, so now over here, uh, I'm checking before that I'm checking what will be the value of pi by 3. Let me check what will be the value of pi by 3. So the highlighted uh, one, let me check what will be the value of that. So you can see the pi by 3 value I am getting. So sorry, if I print P or choice, so I am getting minus pi by 3. So now in this, uh, like uh, this is an if statement. I am checking if P or choice is less than 0. Okay, that is the value that is uh, highlighted in this output. If this value is less than 0, then what I am adding, I am adding that with a variable pi. Okay, I'm adding with that pi. Okay, so at the last, I'm printing that PHR. Okay, I'll run this. 
Okay, you can see over here the angle between the radius of vector and tangent is 2 into pi by 3. 2 into pi by 3. Okay, so this was for today. So if you like the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, and if you have any doubts, so you can ask me in the comment section. Hopefully, I'll be helping you out on that. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.